Today, I just like to have a woman to woman talk with all my viewers out there. And I'm just going to talk about yeast infection. Now, that's a common problem that a lot of us women have been through. I've been there. I remember having very itchy private parts. And you have that discharge, discharge that is thick and cottage cheese looking and it's a struggle because when you live in a warm temperature and you wear warm tight clothes you will, may notice that you have yeast infection more frequently it could depend on your menstrual cycle it can depend on your diet like there are so many things that can cause a yeast infection and there's no shame in the game like We've all been there. So we're just gonna have a conversation today about yeast infection. So we'll, we talk about this classic signs of yeast infection. So there's severe itchiness of the vagina. There is that cottage cheese discharge. And for those of us who have fancy tests, we can do a test and the pH is usually acidic. So less than 4.5. It may also burn when you pee. So those are some of the signs and symptoms of yeast infection. So as to the causes, it can cause um, can be caused by your menstrual cycle. So some women monthly have a recurrent yeast infection because of their, men their menses. And it's just that the flora is disturbed. Your hormones affect your natural flora and then the yeast increased, increases. Then there is like, if you're t eating a lot of sugary foods, if your diet is, um, intake is a lot of sugary foods, you have to take this into consideration and reduce your sugary foods. Um, if you're on antibiotics, antibiotics can kill the good bacteria and then the yeast will increase so you might notice a yeast infection during um, use of antibiotics some patients who have um, women who have diabetes women who are pregnant um, immunocompromised hiv aids or just certain things that reduce your immunity you may notice that you have yeast infection if you are wearing a lot of tight clothing like people go to the gym and they get sweaty and down there is warm. If you keep on these clothes, if you go swimming and your clothes is wet and you keep it on, that can also trigger yeast infection. So there's no shame in the game, as I said before. A lot of women have different reasons why they might have yeast infection. So you can look for treatment in the pharmacies. Usually you can get them over the counter. I know for sure that in Jamaica, you can't get like canistin over the counter. You have to go to the doctor, unfortunately. But here in Canada or in the US, you can get a lot of treatments over the counter. Treatment can include canistin, monostat, and these are normally creams or vaginal tablets. You insert them vaginally and some of the treatments can be one day, three days or, or seven days. And regardless of the days of treatment, they're all effective. Um, ensure that you're wearing a panty liner because you can insert the tablets or the cream at nighttime and during the daytime wear a panty liner to protect your underwear. For treatment, there are several treatments that you can get over the counter in some countries. In other countries, you have to see the doctor to get this treatment. Typical treatment can be canistin. So canistin comes as a cream and it also comes as a vaginal tablet and it has applicators. So some of them have one applicator, some as three and seven applicators, depending on the, the treatment period. Some of them are one day treatment, three day treatment, seven day treatment. So it depends on 
how many days of treatment. They're all effective regardless of how long the treatment period is. You normally start seeing improvement in symptoms within three days with, with whatever you, um, treatment you use. So for these tubes, they're sealed. So you have to use the cover to pierce the, the, the opening. So just press down on the tube with the cover and that will create a hole in the in the tube in the opening of the tube and then you just screw this end onto the applicator you will fill the tube by squeezing down on the cream so when you squeeze down on the cream it will fill up with the cream from the bottom to the top and then you just unscrew that bit this section will go into the into the vagina so you insert that into the vagina by lying on your back or standing upright and holding one leg up you're going to insert it gently into the vagina all the way to us maybe to this three quarters of it and then just press on the plunger at the base and that will allow the cream to enter into the vagina then you remove this and if it has more than one applicator you can discard that and use another one on the following night so this is a three-day cream for canistin other options could be monistat monistat has ovules and also cream some of them have a topical cream that you can apply to the outer vulva area and they also have the ovule that you will insert vaginal so this is what an ovule look like a vaginal ovule or vaginal tabule tablet and you will remove one of these wrappers one of the ovules they're in wrappers so remember to remove the wrappers don't insert the plastic wrapper in vaginal you remove that plastic wrapper and then let's remove one of these so just remove the outer wrapper Make sure your hands are clean and dry and then you're gonna put it in to the end of the applicator like that and then that will be your plunger so when you insert this portion into the vagina by lying on your back you're gonna press on the plunger and this will push the tablet up into the vagina so you want to put it far, far enough so that it's comfortably placed in the vagina and it will stay in place. But the next day when you're up and about and moving, just wear a panty liner to protect your panties because this will eventually melt and leak out when you're upright or standing and up and up, moving up and about. So those are just two treatment options for yeast infection that are available. So there's the canistin or clotrimazole or the monistat uh, or myconazole. And those are very effective antifungal treatment. There is also oral diflucon, fluconazole, which is a single dose um, treatment by mouth. And those are helpful if you don't have frequent yeast infection. And they usually are well tolerated they may cause abdominal pain or nausea. So um, those are just some options that are available. Boric acid capsules can also be inserted vaginally, not by mouth because it's toxic. It's only inserted vaginally and that can be used once or twice daily for two weeks. And those are that is usually helpful, especially in recurrent yeast infection. Um, some people also can use like a probiotic. There's a probiotic vaginal capsule that can be inserted into the vagina for a period of um, 14 days. Also, you can use these creams and tablets vaginally if you're seeing your menstrual period while you're having a yeast infection. You can also use them while you're seeing your menses. We recommend that you do not have sex when you're using the vaginal treatment so, so that they get a chance to work effectively. Um, so those are just some of the treatment options that are out there, ladies. 
um, for those who cannot get these treatments from their pharmacies, they can go to the doctor, have that discussion, ask for a prescription that you can repeat as needed at your own convenience when you have symptoms. So that's it, ladies. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the section below. And I hope this video was informative. Thank you and have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.